Welcome back. School districts face special challenges when selling an abandoned school building. In fact, they're so unique with classrooms, offices, gymnasiums, and of course, some of those large restrooms. But our zone Rich and I found in Johnson County, one family really saw an opportunity that could benefit the entire community. Indian Creek Elementary School closed in 2016, but is back open. Not for classes, but for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Well, that looks good. Yes, it does. Good enough to eat, right? Yeah. <laughs> the Southern Comfort Cafe opened last month in the former school cafeteria. I've got to believe it's been a few years since you had lunch at school. <laughs> Quite a few years. <laughs> Owner and head chef James Lockard bought the entire school building in September, including the gymnasium built in 1939. And playing basketball on this is amazing. Lockard closed his former location on State Road 135 and moved his down-home cooking restaurant into the school in downtown Trafalgar. It's always nice to take something that's closed and turn it into something new and exciting. Turning the cafeteria into a restaurant might seem reasonable, but what do you do with the rest of the school? Well, the owner decided to make it home. Through these doors are, uh, is the main living area. Upstairs, the library is now a huge open living space, still under renovation for the owner and his five children. Classrooms next door are now bedrooms. Mr. Beasley's second grade room became a three-year-old's playroom. It was a huge undertaking. A lot of people told me I was nuts or crazy or thought it was just a rumor. With 67,000 square feet, Lockard envisions offices, retail shops, a daycare center, maybe party rental rooms. The gym is an event center with the old school office serving as the concession stand. Something here that the community can be proud of for one and know that the person that's in it is not going to try to benefit for themselves but benefit the community. It's fantastic. It has character, you know, and I'm sure it has good bones and it was built well. Look at that. Customers love the fresh cut tenderloins, only available if you go back to school. I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. I think we all want to go back to school here on the set. Well, the Southern Comfort Cafe is open every single day except Tuesdays. The owner says the food is the same as what was on the menu at the restaurant when it was located on State Road 135. But they also added more selections, and they now serve breakfast all day long. I, think, I love oh, that. I think his kids would probably love having their own basketball yeah, gym. Or, how cool is yeah, that? Shoot hoops. Shoot mm -hmm. hoops. I love how they just repurpose it. Right. Repurpose it for something sure. brand new, and, and it's helping the entire community as well. It's got to be an expensive utility bill. Yeah, I was just wondering about that. Electricity, heat, all that. Hmm, such a great story. Right. Thank